You love the idea about living near the beach and you're doing your research to find the right beach town? Well, this video is all about Indie Atlantic and living in the 32903. So stick around. My name is Eric Larkin and I'm a real estate agent here on the Space Coast. And when I'm not making videos like this one, I'm helping people buy and sell real estate. So if you have plans of making a move, let me know how I can help. The 32903. This section of our barrier islands is from the O'Galley Causeway to just south of 192. The city of Indy Atlantic is near 192. The section right along O'Galley Causeway is actually the city of Melbourne. And the space in between those two are considered Indy Atlantic, but you're outside the city limits. It's unincorporated part of Brevard County. You might have heard of me refer to Indy Atlantic as a city in this video and throughout other videos, but really they like to refer to themselves as the town of Indy Atlantic. Population is just over 3,000. And if you like this idea of living in a small beach town, Indy Atlantic definitely needs to be on your list. It's just not small in population, but if you look at the size, it's only 1.3 square miles, which makes it the smallest beach town in Brevard County. Property taxes for the 32903 really depends on where you're living at. We have three sections in there, so we have three different millage rates. The highest is for the city of Melbourne, then the city of Indy Atlantic, and then the unincorporated section of Indy Atlantic. And if you'd like more information on the property taxes, I'll have a link in the description below. If schools are important to you, here are the schools for the 32903. Elementary is the Indy Atlantic Elementary, Middle school is Hoover Middle School, and the high school is Melbourne High. And since schools are always changing, not that I anticipate a change in the 32903, I recommend going to sites like School Digger just to verify the schools that are associated with the addresses that you're interested in. Parks are important to you, then you'll love what Indy Atlantic and the 32903 has to offer. You have Sunrise Park, you have Sunset Park, you have parks along the river. You have parks along the ocean. You have parks with playgrounds, with volleyball, and with pavilions too. Do you like the info so far? If so, smash that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up, and if you drop any comments or questions, I'd be happy to answer them too. If you're looking to move near the beach, then you're probably wanting to know more information on the beach access. Well, Indy Atlantic and the 32903 have quite a few options. The park, all the parks that are east of A1A all have beach access. I really like Nance Park and all the parking and access points along Wavecrest. Most of them are just an access point that you walk to similar to the one at Gross Point Avenue. In spite of a smaller population in size, you have quite a few options for shops and restaurants to consider in Indy Atlantic and the 32903. You have a newer Publix that just opened up north of 192. You have a Winn-Dixie and Walmart. There's an Ace Hardware. There is a Dollar General. You have restaurants all along the A1A corridor, along the south side of O'Galley, and of course, everything along the Melbourne Causeway or 192. And the beauty of all of these restaurants, except for the fast food chains, they are all local, one-of-a-kind, mom-and-pop style restaurants are you looking for a new board or your surf apparel? Then I recommend going by the longboard house for your surfboards or the paddleboard house for your stand-up paddleboards. If you are new moving to, into the area, it always comes up asking about hurricanes and flood insurance. Well, since Indy Atlantic and the 32903 is a barrier island, you are in the mandatory evacuation zone. If a storm is heading towards the East Coast, Brevard County and or the governor could call for a mandatory evacuation. Does this mean you have to leave your house? No. However, it is highly recommended. And keep in mind, if you do stay, an emergency does come up where you're having to dial 911 while the storm's in the area. Fire and rescue and police will not come to you unless it's safe for them to travel. And that's usually after the storm passes. So keep that in mind if you decide to stay. And as for flood zones, surprisingly, most of the 32903 is considered flood zone X, which means flood insurance is not required, but it is highly recommended because you're surrounded by water. Water. The parts of this section of the Barrier Island that is required is if you're living east of A1A and you're on the ocean, or there are some properties along the riverside that are also in a flood zone and insurance, flood insurance will be required. 
And since we're talking insurance, let's talk about homeowner's insurance. Homeowner's insurance will be more living in the 32903 compared to similar houses that are on the mainland. Basically, the closer you are to the ocean and the water, the higher your insurance is going to be. And since most of the homes in the 32903 are older homes that are over 30 years old, you're going to be paying more for homeowner's insurance for an older home versus a newer home. And the homes that are over 30 years old, of course, you're going to get a home inspection with any property that you buy. But those that are over 30 years old, you'll need to have a four point inspection in order to get your homeowner's insurance. The four point inspection covers the roof, the electric, the plumbing, and the AC. And the home inspector that does your home inspection can also take care of the four point and wind mitigation reports too. And as a PSA regarding homeowners insurance, insurance anywhere in the state of Florida has gotten really expensive, especially the closer you get to or living on a barrier island. A lot of this is because of the recent hurricanes that have hit the state of Florida. Plus the last two years, there's been some hailstorms come through the area. There's been a lot of insurance claims on roof damage, people getting their roofs replaced. And there aren't as many homeowner insurance options in Florida today compared to a couple years ago, because quite a few of these companies have either folded or stopped doing coverage in the state of Florida. Let's talk prices and properties that are available in the 32903 and in the Atlantic area. All of last year, 2022, there were just over 300 properties selling in the 32903. Most were single family homes or condominiums. There were a handful of townhomes and a few multifamilies that also sold in this area. Single family homes ranged low end of 250,000 to 2.2 million bucks. These were either dry lots, they were riverfront lots. You might've been in a gated community. And of course there's ocean and riverfront properties too. Home ages were from 1930 up to new construction that's happening in the area. More than likely you're not in an HOA, but there are some gated communities that will have an HOA tied to them. Condominium sales, they were from 200,000 to 1.7 million. They were built from the fifties to present day. And most of them were either east side oceanfront properties, but they were near or along the A1A corridor. Townhome sales were between 300 and 800,000. These were billed from 1960s to present day, and all of the townhomes and half duplexes were west of A1A. Duplexes or multifamily were, were sold between 510 and 730,000. They were built either 1950s to the 1980s, and all these sales were right around 192. And I will have a link in the description showing you everything that's active today in the 32903. If you have any questions about the 32903 and moving to Indy Atlantic or anywhere in the Space Coast, I am here to help. You could either call me, you can text me, you can comment below. I'm on all these social media platforms. Maybe find me there and send me a DM. However you like to communicate, I am great with. And if you stuck around this long, you probably like what you're hearing. If you haven't done so already, you should consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm also queuing up two more videos about beachside living here for you to watch next. My name's Eric Larkin with Real Brokers. I appreciate you stopping by and I'll see you on the next show.